Listen, no, no, I wanted to do a Facebook, but you, uh... Well, yeah, I, I, I haven't had any time to tra 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 travel. Probably, so maybe you could yeah. do a Facebook travel one day. Maybe we can. Because, you know, it was, remember the time we went to the departmental building who came out? Yes. And it was Sean Brand that I do. said, no, I told that to Sean. Four, that was 14 years ago. Was it? I've, it, it's still on YouTube or on your yeah, site. And, yeah, yeah, 14 years ago I was asking about, you were educating me about, that. okay, never mind. Yeah. You let the person talk, that's a secret, right? Let right. the person, the other person talk. Yeah. So, uh, why the book? Well, I mean, it was at the end of, it was at the end of the, at the end of the career, and it's a good time to look back at what went well, what didn't go well, and at the lessons learned. So, yeah, to me it was just a good time to pause and, and, and reflect. And uh, that's what I did. Reflect on what? Well, on the whole thing. I mean, you know, as you know, I was 16 years old when I got into to the media. And, um, I mean, there's not a lot you know when you're 16. So I wanted to reflect on how the media had changed around me as I was growing up. <laughs> but also, <laughs> and how, and how the media changed me. Because I was, I was a child, and then I was a you know, guy in his 20s, and then I got to be a middle-aged guy, now I'm an old guy. So you go through all the stages of life, and yeah, sure, it was just a good opportunity to look at how I changed and how the business changed. CFBC. CFBC, great radio station. Yeah. You know, back when we used to have great newsrooms in uh, St. John, Frederick, and Moncton, CFNB, you know, uh, CKCW, CFBC, CHSJ, these were great newsrooms. How come we don't have no more talk shows? Good question. Um, good answer. Well, I think the answer is that the formats that the radio stations are running, by and large, are all music driven. Um, and it used to be back in the old days that a station would have music in the morning and then a talk show and then more music and so on. But now they want the unified sound and most of the formats are all music. There are talk shows, I mean Halifax still has it, yeah. has a phone in How come New Brunswick can't have one? Uh, well, I think it's that the radio stations don't have the format for it. Now, might there be room for a radio station to do it? I would, I would think there, there probably is, but you know, I, don't know, I don't know enough about it. The, program, sure. the programming then. I'm sure Gary McDonald would, would have been oh, going Gary, Gary probably do a great talk show. What's with this Facebook thing? They don't want... What's, what's it? Do you, well, can you educate me on what's going on here? Well, I can tell you what I think. The government tried to, tried to protect newsrooms by saying, look, if you're going to use their news content on Facebook, you've got to pay them for it, which seems like it would be a sensible thing to do. But the big companies, which are mainly American, Meta and so on, they don't want to pay. So they decide to cut us off instead. So instead of helping us as, a, as an industry and as a, as a profession, it's ended up having the opposite effect. So it's an unintended consequence. They're going to have to go back and take a look at it and see if they can change it because this is actually not helping. See, if you run your own Facebook or blogging, like me, like you, I yeah. moderate the comments. Yeah. When they have their Facebook, mm -hmm. they don't moderate the comments. Well, some, some don't. I mean, it, moderating comments takes a lot of time, though, as you know, particularly yeah. if you're getting a lot of comments. I you know. almost have somebody do it full time. But again, the idea, Charles, was to try to protect or, you know, support local news, and it's had almost the opposite effect. So. What's going to be the future? Of, of news? Yeah, what's, what's well, going to be, like I, me, I predate there'll be no more teachers, no more lawyers, no more doctors, because somebody's going to say, I want to be, I want to help my community. And next thing you know, they're going to go to school, they're going to come to their job, and say, oh, she has a fat this, and she's blah, blah, and he's yeah. this, and he's not, that. And they say, I didn't study for this, yeah. and, they're, and they're going to quit. I'm not, well, I'm not quite as gloomy as you are about it. I think, I mean, obviously, we're in an age of change. Everything is changing. A great many things are. I mean, media is going to continue to change, particularly if we don't find a way for news organizations to make some money so that they can, you know, afford to do the job properly. But again, I'm not as pessimistic as you about the loss of all the other professions. But, you know, fair-minded people can debate some of the decisions we're making, and we should, but let's just, you know, be civil, like you and I are here right now. Civil, yeah. You and I have always been civil. Oh, right? yeah, okay. So how many people were in Charlottetown last night? Uh, gee, I don't know. There were a lot of people here. There was a pretty good crowd here, yeah. I was very happy. I think we had about 60 or so. 60? How many in Halifax? Oh, about 100 and... 120 maybe. So uh, you would you never, if you I see the first time uh, somebody approaching you to run for politics? Oh, over the years I had the political parties suggest that I run, federally and provincially. And I mean, I thought about it particularly when I was younger, but I decided it wasn't for me. How about you being a senator? 
Nope, no, it wouldn't no, be for me. Senator, I want the Senate Senator, to be elected. I, I don't want. I don't Senator want. Senator Murphy has a good sound to it. No, no, not uh, for, not Pamela. Uh, how about Patois? Patois. Patois. <laughs> but but here's the thing. I want the Senate to be elected. Yes. I, I think we need to make the Senate meaningful, yes. and I think yes, people. I, agree. I think people should start demanding that. I'll tell you one thing, Steve. I, I can call you Steve. Absolutely. Okay. But one thing about you, you should. You never receive the order of New Brunswick. Well, I don't think I deserve oh, yes. the order of New Brunswick. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. You're very kind. No, no. You are, when it comes to a tragedy, boy, okay, do you ever come out with the words? Well, that, that's the job, right? The shooting, that's not the job. Yeah. It has to come in there too. And the emotion, every time, see, I'm Scottish and I got tears in my eyes. I'm not, I'm not supposed to show emotion. But well, you, I don't you speak so well. I think if you, if I mean, it's important that you don't allow, uh, when you're on the air particularly, you can't allow emotion to overcome you entirely, but you should never lose touch with the emotion. If you, as a, as a, as a, as a news anchor, if you're not feeling some of the emotion, you're probably too disconnected to do the job. I mean, we never stop being human beings. And I mean, when I've covered some of the things of recent years, I'm sorry, it does hurt. Particularly when it's, you know, it's in our neighborhoods, our communities, and beautiful little places. That we all know so well, you know, that, that, that's got to hurt. Well, we got to finish it the way okay. you always do. How you finish it, go ahead. Be well.